Instead of attacking folks who work for a living, shouldn't we stand up for them? More Americans are living in poverty than when President Obama took office. So it was probably inevitable that the Democrats would once again go back to the secretly recorded video of Mitt Romney and 47%, uh, not just on speeches, but in ads this week. Let's have a look. When Mitt Romney dismissed 47% of Americans for not pulling their weight, he attacked millions of hardworking people making $25,000, $35,000, $45,000 a year. They pay Social Security taxes, state taxes, local taxes, gas, sales, and property taxes. Romney paid just 14% in taxes last year on over 13 million in income, almost all from investments. Instead of attacking folks who work for a living, shouldn't we stand up for them? So, you know, I think the Obama campaign's view is that this is a gift that will keep on giving. Absolutely. The and they're probably right. Um, and I, I think the idea I, of this uh, ad, like the whole effort to, to talk about this, has got to be to convince people that Mitt Romney is dissing you personally. Absolutely. And I think the interesting thing they did with the ad was linking it to his tax returns to remind people, oh, hey, by the way, this guy is also really rich, and he's talking to a lot of really <laughs> rich people. Yeah. So, I mean, to the extent that Obama has played the class warfare, uh, uh, kind of guilty as charged, this is definitely the latest example of them really trying to kind of keep this thing in the spotlight, but also use it uh, to reinforce a point that they've been making for six months or a year now, is that this guy's out of touch. So when they do these ads, do they just throw them up, or do they have focus groups? How no, they? not at all. They, the Obama people, and I'm assuming the Romney people, but the Obama people in particular, they really test this stuff. So they know exactly what the reaction will be to an ad, to hmm. the script, to the voiceover, to the images that they're using. Uh, and it's a very scientific process, and they have made it. They, I think they're really starting to hone it as you see all these ads coming out now. And, and, and they move quickly on this. I mean, after yeah. the 47% video came out, it was just a few days later that Romney himself put out his tax reform, tax returns so that they could come up with the, the tax rate. And, you know, so it was kind of like half the ad was done for them by the Romney but I think campaign. I always thought the best political ads are the ones that kind of play into something that people are already kind of thinking right. about. Mm -hmm. And that's certainly true in this one. I mean, yeah. I don't know what your experiences have been, but everybody's talking about the 47%. Yeah. I mean, you, 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 they're or hitting... Or about his tax returns. I've had a lot of questions really? about that. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So they're hitting a moment, and that makes it easier for the ad maker. You know, you're going with the stream instead of pushing upstream, and that's easier. Well, and, that, and the, the hidden video. I mean, never has footage <laughs> yeah, been reused exactly. so much. <laughs> and it's very memorable. I mean, yeah, there are yeah. a lot of ads. Yeah. I'm not going to remember what was on the screen, but this one... Yeah. Cheap to produce, too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, the footage is there for you. Yeah. No, it is, and it kind of it feeds into this conspiratorial, hey, yeah. all the rich people are meeting in this <laughs> In a secret exactly. room, well, we're I trying to decide our fate for us. Like a mansion. <laughs> I wasn't invited. So Mitt Romney pushed back in an ad this week that I think you have to see as kind of a response to that, in which he's talking to the camera and, uh, and saying essentially we're all in this together. I believe that. Let's look at that ad. Too many Americans are struggling to find work in today's economy. Too many of those who are working are living paycheck to paycheck, trying to make falling incomes meet rising prices for food and gas. More Americans are living in poverty than when President Obama took office, and 15 million more are on food stamps. President Obama and I both care about poor and middle class families. The difference is my policies will make things better for them. So Patrick, what, what do you think the point was? I think the main point was compassion, trying mm -hmm. to remind people, hey, I'm not a terrible human being. I actually care about all of you guys. The overall message of the ad, I think, is a little muddled. I mean, I think it's a, a, he's making his case against Obama and trying to tell people why he's the guy that they should pick well, instead. Well, he, he was saying that the ultimate compassionate move is to get somebody a job, not to get him a welfare check. I mean, that's right. not quite that crass, but that's kind of... Sounds like it. I mean, sounds like a winning argument to me if you could convince people that that would be But that's did. what you... That's but then he saying. says, I have this plan to create 12 million jobs, and it kind of reminds me of watching one of these vegematic ads, you know, like, I hear the slice and dice and stuff. I mean, just, they, I don't, does anybody really believe he has a plan to have to create 12 yeah. million jobs? I mean, it just, yeah. it doesn't. His economic advisors, maybe. Yeah. No. But I, I, I thought that the, the, the ad just showed, a, he's arguing from a position of weakness. If he has yeah. to get up and say, hey, I I'm care nice about poor people, yeah. too, yeah. you know? And the difference between me and Obama is that I have a more effective way of dealing with it and it, that's that's yeah, a tough but it was thing. interesting that that the the format was to have him sitting there Tylus talking directly into the camera and then it has to be an effort to say 
I'm this guy, I'm not that guy you saw sure. in the mm -hmm. blurry time yeah. at the mansion. Mm -hmm. right? Which is what Obama did over the summer when they started to attack him. I don't even remember what the issue was, but they did a minute long ad with he, him talking about Republican about attacks that. on his yeah. record. Yeah. And he did yeah. a very effective job of saying, you know, hey guys, you liked me in 2008, you yeah. still like me. These things that I'm being charged with, they're not true. Uh, Mitt Romney's essentially doing it, the same thing, he's just doing it so much And later. maybe that's a message only the candidate himself or herself can deliver. At the yeah. Yeah, I think so. And be believable. The problem is, is how late we are on the calendar for him to mm -hmm. be delivering it. The other thing is, is in politics, is you know one of these universal truisms. If you're explaining yourself, you're probably losing. And I think to the extent that Mitt Romney is trying to defend his record, uh, it's probably does it, it's not beneficial at this stage in the race for his campaign. Well, next week we'll be beyond ads. We'll have that first real debate to analyze, and we'll do it here on DC Bureau. Hope you can join us. Meantime, join the conversation on Twitter at hashtag WSJLive. I'm Jerry Seib.